In one of the previous lectures of this course, we learned about collection and how to create them. We have also learned that a collection is like a table in relational database which can store related data like users, products, etc. A data in a collection is stored using something called as documents. Each document in a collection represents an entity. For example, in a user's collection, each document will represent a user. In the same way, in a product's collection, each document will represent a product. A document is like a JSON data with a key value pair. Each key represents a property of that entity and value is the value assigned to that property. For example, this object here, it represents a user entity where a user has a name as John Doe, the age of the user is 30 and the user is from New York City. So this is one document which represents one user. And for each document, MongoDB also creates this underscore ID property, which it assigns with a unique object ID. So this is how a document looks like. Okay, so in MongoDB collection, when we store some data, we store it as a document. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about some methods, which we will call from MongoDB shell to insert documents in a collection of MongoDB database. Let's go to Mongo shell. And here you will notice that in the left hand side, I have opened Mongo shell and in the right hand side, I have opened VS code and in there I have this file mongo.js. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the Mongo shell commands in this mongo.js file. We will copy it from here and then we will paste it in Mongo shell and then we will execute it. Why I'm doing this is because writing the Mongo shell commands in this JS file, it will be easier and we can also format it for better readability. And then we will simply copy that command, that method, and we will run it here. All right. So here you will notice that the currently selected database is eShopping database. Now, if I run show collections command here, you will see that in this eShopping database, currently we have two collections, products collection and users collection. Now let's say in this users collection, we want to add a new document and there are several ways to insert a document in a collection in MongoDB. We have already seen one such method, which is called as insert one method. So here, if I say db.users, this db object it is currently pointing to this eShopping database in that we have this users collection and in that collection, I want to insert one single document. So when we want to insert a single document, we can use insert one method and to this insert one method, we need to pass a JavaScript object. This JavaScript object will be created as a document in the MongoDB collection. And in this object, we can specify the fields which we want to have for that document. For example, I want to have a name field here. Let's say name is Steve. I want to have an age field. Let's say age is 34 and I want to have a gender field and let's say gender is unknown okay so we are using this insert one method to insert a single document in this users collection and to this insert one method what we are passing we are passing a javascript object and this object will be inserted as a document in this users collection so if you want to insert only one document, then you can use insert one method. So if I press enter here, we have received this message from MongoDB server. This message simply tells that the JavaScript object, which we passed to this insert one method that has been accepted and it has been inserted as a document in this user's collection. So that's why this acknowledged is true. And then we have this inserted ID. Basically, as we have learned earlier, whenever we insert a new document in a MongoDB collection there, if we don't specify the underscore ID field, MongoDB server will automatically create an underscore ID field for that document and it will assign it with a unique object ID. So this is that unique object ID, which has been assigned for this document when it was inserted in the user's collection. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's query the user's collection by calling the find method on that collection. And if I press enter, 
you will see this find method has returned us an array and in that array we have all the documents which we have created inside this users collection and the last document which we created there the name was steve age was 34 and gender was unknown so you can see the last document here there the name is steve age is 34 and gender is unknown so that document has been inserted here let's go ahead and let's clear the mongo shell now remember that using insert one method we can only insert one document at a time to a collection but what if we want to insert multiple documents at once to a collection for that we have another method called insert many so just like how we use insert one method in the same way we can also use insert many method so again we can say db dot users which is the collection name in which we want to insert documents dot insert many and to this insert many method we need to pass an array and inside that array we can specify multiple documents which we want to insert so let me write this command here in this javascript file so here we can say db dot users dot insert many okay and to this insert many method we need to pass an array because using this insert many method we want to insert multiple documents and in that array we can specify multiple documents separated by comma something like this okay so let's say we want to insert three documents at a time using this insert many method so here inside this object let's specify a name property let's say name is sara and there let's specify the gender property and let's say gender is female then for another user object also let's specify the name let's say name is steve let's specify age let's say age is 30. okay here i have missed the colon and for the third document let's say name is john age is 54 and gender let's say unknown okay so these are the three documents which we want to insert at once using this insert many method and if you notice here all the documents which we are trying to insert here they do not have the same structure so for example in the first document we have only name and gender property in the second document we have only name and age property and in the third document we have name age and gender property so the structure of all these three documents are completely different still mongodb will allow us to insert these documents even though they have different structure that is they have different fields and this is possible because as we have learned in the introduction lecture mongodb is schemaless that means we can have documents with different structures in the same collection and that's what we are doing here we are trying to insert three documents with completely different structure and by different structure i mean different fields so let me go ahead and let me copy this command from here and i'll paste it here and to paste it you can simply right click on your mouse and you will see this message so here i'll paste it okay and if i go ahead and if i press enter again you see we have got this acknowledgement and it is true that means the three documents which we passed to this insert many method they have been accepted and they have been inserted in this users collection and for each of these documents we did not specify the underscore id field explicitly so mongodb server is going to assign an underscore id field for each of these documents and that underscore id field will be assigned with some unique object id and you can see those object ids here so here these are the object ids for each of these documents which have been inserted in the users collection so let's again go ahead and let's query the users collection and now in this users collection we should have three more documents if i press enter you see these many documents now we have so these are the last three documents which we inserted we inserted a document for this steve we inserted a document for sara and we inserted a document for john so these are the three users which we have created newly using this insert many method okay so let's go ahead and let's clear the shell here 
all right so remember that when we want to insert a single document in a collection we can use insert one method and we have to use this insert one method on the collection name okay and if you want to insert multiple documents at a time instead of using insert one we can use insert many method using insert many method we can insert multiple documents at a time this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day